I'm Kate. I'm a grad student in environmental studies, and this is the Ohio University Eco House. Come on, let's take a look around. And this is our Eco House garden. Uh, it's still kind of early in the season for many vegetables, but we have some cold crops growing. We do eat pretty well in the, in the late summer and fall from our garden. This is our Eco House composting system. We take the food from our garden that we grow, we take it inside, we cook and eat what we can and what we don't, we throw out here into the compost and we let it decompose over the course of a few months and then we put it back in the garden and it kind of completes that full cycle. We've covered our gutters with a screen and the water just comes down through this tube and into the barrel and we use this to water our garden and so we don't have to take water from the tap. All right, this is our um, solar thermal hot water heater. And this is a closed circuit system, so it just has antifreeze that runs through a bunch of little capillaries or little pipes through these two big panels, and the sun heats those, and if you touch it right now, it's actually hot. The solar panels produce 70-75% of the electricity we use in the house, which is pretty good in southeastern Ohio. So this is the inside of the Eco House, and as you can see, it's just a, a normal house. We try and minimize the amount of waste that we produce, um, each week or each month, and we do that by recycling. Our refrigerator has the freezer on the bottom just because heat rises, and I think this is becoming a trend with all the Energy Star appliances. This is our washing machine. It's a low energy and low water usage washing machine. That's what a lot of people come to the Eco House to see and it's our amazing heat furnace. It's a biofuels furnace or biomass that runs off of corn pellets or corn kernels or wood pellets or anything that, that's about this size that still has energy in it. This we can fill it up and leave and go for a week and the only thing we have to do is empty the ash every eight or 10 days and just make sure that this bin stays full. In all of the light fixtures in the house, we use fluorescent light bulbs. I think it's a really nice place to have social gatherings, and we have um, potlucks every month, and we have tours and other sorts of things. The difference about living here is sort of changing our lifestyle to minimize our ecological footprints. But it's just the way that we choose to use things that minimizes um, the amounts of resources that we use.